Good morning. This is Friday, the 20th of November, and we're here again today to share a little bit from God's Word about the name, the name of Jesus, the awesome, powerful, majestic name of Jesus. Let's begin with prayer. Father, as we bow before you humbly, as we seek your face, as we confess and repent of any evil or disobedience or disbelief in our lives, as we pray and read your word, may you hear from heaven, may you forgive our sins, and may you heal our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. We're talking about today the power of the name. Jesus' name carries authority, but it also carries power. In Acts 4.30, we read these words, While you stretch out your hand to heal, and signs and wonders are performed through the name of your holy servant Jesus. Talking about God using the name of Jesus to heal people. God using the name of Jesus to do signs and wonders, miracles. We're not to seek the miracles. We're not to seek the signs, but the God who performs them through the name of Jesus. If you remember in the New Testament era, uh, the apostles would heal people in the name of Jesus. The apostles would do miracles in the name of Jesus. They used his name. They called upon his name. Jesus had told them and tells us that if we believe and, and, and have faith, that we can call upon his name and receive an answer. Uh, Jesus didn't heal everybody. Okay, we have to remember that too. Jesus' purposes uh, aren't always our desires and for our comfort and our uh, benefit. We benefit from his purposes, but not like we think we would all the time. But he, he was able to still the so storms uh, when he was out on the Sea of Galilee with his disciples and they were the boat was being thrown around. He, he calmed the seas and stilled the wind. So he, he had the power over nature. He had the power to create uh, when he uh, took the five loaves and two fish and fed over 5,000 people. He had the power to create or multiply this. Uh, he did it again with 4,000 people. Uh, Jesus was able to do things because of the power of his name. The power of his great God. And we're told that through calling upon him, the name of Jesus, there is power. And so we see this here in signs and wonders. Uh, we, we see the work of Jesus through his name. Uh, there are instances today when we pray and ask Jesus for things, and then all of a sudden, uh, with no control on our part, uh, he answers. I've seen that over and over again here at Sunset Park Baptist Church as we financially come to the brink of of a great need and we pray and God meets our needs uh, we don't we don't know where it comes from we've had people just walk in and say God told us to give you this money I'm not saying it happens every time it doesn't but it does happen uh, God leads us as we pray and seek him uh, but there's power in his name that gives us the answers to our prayers sometimes. In Acts 3, 6, it says, But Peter said, I have no silver and gold. He's, he's standing before a man that needs to be healed, who's sick. He says, I have no silver and gold, but what I do have I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. It wasn't in Peter's name. Excuse me. It wasn't in John's name or James's name. Uh, it was in the name of Jesus. He, he commanded this guy to get up and walk. He brought healing to his physical body. Uh, there's instances in Scripture in Mark chapter 5 of healing to the 
to the spiritual part of the body. And I'm not just talking about salvation. I'm talking about the casting out of demons. There's, there's, uh, there's power in the name of Jesus that circumvents the spiritual world, the physical world, the mental and emotional world. In Acts 16, 18 here, we talk about the casting out of demons. Uh, this lady is following Paul around, and it says, And this she kept doing for many days, following him around. And it was because of a demon in her. And it says, Paul, having become greatly annoyed, he put up with it for days. And then it annoyed him. It says, Turned and said to the Spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And it came out that very hour. You see, even demons have to come under the authority of the name, the power of the name. They recognize it, they know it, and they are under his authority. They have liberty that he gives them. But there is power in the name of Jesus. Too many times we just don't call upon that name. We end our prayers if it's some magical words in the name of Jesus. But do we call upon the name of Jesus to answer our prayers in faith and trust? I pray that you do and that you see the power of God working in and through your life, in and through your family, in and through your church, that the community might be in awe of what great God we serve. Be blessed today as you seek him and as you call upon his name.